everyone and welcome to Cricut Time. Subscribe to see new videos each week with project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. I really love trays and I really love fall, so for today's tutorial, we will be combining those two things. For this project, I will be using this nice little tray that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I was happy with the price on this one, it was only $12. You'll also need some permanent vinyl or removable vinyl if you plan on just leaving the design for a season and then changing it later. Let's get started in Design Space. I'll start out by bringing in a rectangle the same size as my tray. The tray I'm using today is 16 inches wide. I'll just uncheck this lock and it is 11 inches tall. I'll just change this color so we can see the design easier. Now I will upload the fall design that I will be using today. Click on Upload, Upload Image, and I can drag the file for the design right here. This download came with a lot of file options. If you have an SVG option, that works the best with Design Space. I picked this design up on Etsy from Art and & Gelato, and I'll include a link in the description below. Now I can click on this, and add to canvas. Since I already have my rectangle for my tray size, I can just resize the design until they look good together. I don't want my machine to actually cut out the rectangle, so I'll just delete that. And now I can press make it. I'll be cutting on a mat. Continue. And I'll be using permanent vinyl. Let's get started with the vinyl. I'll cut out a piece a bit larger than my design. I'll line this up and stick the vinyl down on a green mat. I'll use my brayer to stick the vinyl down smoothly to the mat. Now I'll pop it into my maker. You can use a Cricut or Silhouette for this step. Before you unload your mat from the machine, it's a good idea to check a little spot and see if the cut came out cleanly or not. This looks good, so I'll unload it from the machine. When you're reading a large design like this, you can end up holding too much vinyl and risk it sticking back down on top of your design. The easiest way to navigate this is to just take some scissors and cut off areas as you go. Flip the mat over and peel the mat away from the vinyl to get it off. Now I'll measure out a piece of transfer tape a bit larger than my design. I'll just stick this on top of the design carefully and I'll use the extra large scraper to stick it down. I can carefully remove the transfer tape, again pulling it off at an angle. Now I can put the design into position, centering this in the middle of the tray. I'll use my scraper tool again to stick the vinyl down to the tray. Now I can gently pull off the transfer tape. When I do a large piece like this, it's easiest to pull the transfer tape back on itself instead of straight up. I'll show you a trick with your transfer tape. You can actually reuse your transfer tape a few times before it starts to lose its stickiness. So I'll take this and stick it right back on the roll. This tray is done and ready for some warm drinks on cool days. Well, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.